high above Pasadena. Tournament of Roses parade beamed globally to millions, and then the focus becomes this beautiful, fast track with end zones painted in bright purple for the Horned Frogs and bright red for the Wisconsin Badgers. The 97th Rose Bowl game presented by Vizio will take you right down to kickoff just after the top of the hour. What a long journey here for TCU. They say they are representing the outsiders, the quote, non-AQ conferences in college football. There are still doubters and skeptics who don't believe that this team in purple and black is ready for the physical onslaught of Wisconsin, but TCU the favorite in this game. So Wisconsin and Brett Bielema also playing the underdog card here. For Wisconsin, try champions of the Big Ten, the lone loss at Michigan State. They get the tie break by virtue of the best BCS and the Wisconsin Badgers. This has been the Nissan pregame shift. Ready to go in Pasadena on a beautiful afternoon for football. 60 degrees here in Pasadena. You can see down at Fort Worth, home of TCU, 47 degrees. And in Madison, a little chilly 16. So I guess everybody's huddled around the TV sets in the fireplace. In Madison, ready to go. Now the captains are out at midfield. Our crew is from the SEC, and we have an outstanding referee, Steve Shaw, who is about to become the head of officials. So let's go down now to Steve. The president of the Tournament of Roses. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, let me show you this coin we have today. One side has the Wisconsin logo. On the other side, TCU logo. We'll let the coin fall to the ground. The teams whose logo is up will win the toss. Now we're honored today to have our Grand Marshal, Miss Paula Dean, tossing our coin. Paula, will you do us the honors? I would be delighted. Good luck, guys. I'm not used to flipping without my skillet, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. Good luck to all of y'all. And the toss is won by TCU. All right, you're going to defer. Yes, sir. Let me give you this coin back. Thank you, Thank you sir. Their defer is your choice. Yeah, right the ball. All right, they're going to receive which goal you want to defend. All right, turn your backs here. Wisconsin over here. And down TCU. below. Won the toss. Aaron Andrews is standing by with Coach Gary Patterson. So let's go to Aaron. Brian so he's played both right and left defensive end. Now he's lined up a tackle, trying to get a rush on Dalton, who throws. Got another first down. Converted on third and 11. And again, it is Jimmy Young, who is on his way to a monster here. And then go deep downfield, and Dalton could get him and maybe crease him for a touchdown. Yeah, Dalton has carried the ball four times, throws it again. Pump fake. Goes back down the middle of the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frog. Bart Johnson, the senior from Brownwood, Texas, a 23-yard scoring strike. And there it was set up by what he was doing, just as you called. The double move is something that TCU has had such great success with. The biggest game of the year against Utah on the road. They had success in a touchdown a couple times early in that game with double moves. And Dalton, because of his patience, lets the play develop, doesn't give it away. And all the throws that they had underneath, finally they got the safety Aaron Henry to bite up, and they went right behind him. Ross Evans. Tax on the extra point. TCU takes its first lead, 7-3, over the co-champions of the Big Ten. This morning, the 120.